Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create a shipping label using PayPal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the web address that I'm going to provide you. And I'm going to add the link to this in the information box. And when you type in this web address, it's going to bring you to the PayPal login page. So you're going to want to enter your email address for your PayPal account in your PayPal password. But when you log in, instead of bringing you to PayPal's home page, it's going to bring you directly to PayPal's shipping page. So from here, you can create a shipping label to whoever you want. So you can choose the country you're shipping to. We're going to ship to the United States. And I'm just going to come up with a uh, generic example of somebody to ship to. And then you have the option to add the uh, recipient's email address. Now once you've entered the address, you have to create your shipment. So from here, you can either choose the U.S. Postal Service or you can choose a different carrier. You can select your service type, such as priority, first class, etc. For this example, we're going to use first class mail. Then the package size. You can either do a thick envelope or a large package. We're going to go ahead and do a thick envelope. And then you have to enter the weight of the package. Now for this, I do recommend getting a digital scale if you're going to be doing a lot of shipping. So you know exactly what the weight of your package is when you're shipping it. For this example, let's make it 3 ounces. Then you have shipment options. You can choose the mailing date which you can do today's date or three days out. So let's say I'm going to go to the post office tomorrow. I'm going to choose the 12th. Uh, I'd like to note that delivery confirmation for this is free, so they will provide you with a tracking number, which you can also provide the person you're shipping to. And you can check that and make sure that your package has been delivered. Uh, you have the option to do a signature confirmation which here costs $2.20. You have the option whether or not you'd like to display the postage value on the label. You also have the option to purchase insurance for your package. If you choose yes, then you can enter the amount that you'd like to insure it for. Now on the bottom here, you can send a message to your recipient. Uh, I do believe you have to have the email address entered above for the recipient. So let's just go ahead and type a quick message here. And then once you've entered your message, which is optional, you click continue. Okay, from here it's going to bring you to the confirmation page. So you want to double check your address, make sure the address is correct and the recipient is correct. And it's going to give you the shipping rate. Now the shipping rate is going to depend on where you're sending the package, how much the package weighs, etc. So for this particular package, it's going to cost me $1.69. Once again, it lists the delivery confirmation is free. And then if you added other options, it'll also list the other options on here too, such as uh, signature confirmation, insurance, etc., which we did not choose. And then it'll give you the total shipping cost. So since we didn't choose any of those options, total shipping cost is the same as the package cost. Now you can also verify all your other details, the carrier, the service type, what type of package, Make sure your weight is correct, your mailing date, and all the other options that you got to choose. If any of that is incorrect, 
you can click right here on edit shipment details and you can change that and then continue again source of funds um, I have it set to PayPal balance you can also click this option and you'll get more funding options printer right here you can select which printer you want to use and now for the final step you're going to want to go ahead and hit pay and continue and I'm not going to actually do it for the use of this video but if you hit pay and continue then it'll bring up a page showing you the shipping label and from there all you have to do is print it out I'm assuming that you can figure that out on your own so uh, the question is why would I want to use this method to ship well not everybody has transactions that go through PayPal that are actual transactions per se um, for example I do a lot of sales on PayPal that avoid the PayPal fee by using the gift option so for example if you sell something to somebody and they pay you with the gift option you don't get charged the PayPal fee for that so if somebody sends you five dollars as a gift you get the entire five dollars if somebody sends you five dollars towards the purchase of goods then PayPal takes a percentage of that so this way I'm able to create a shipping label to send my product to somebody who sent me the payment as a gift as opposed to if I have to invoice somebody and they pay me through the invoice then PayPal takes a cut of that but PayPal also allows me the option to have a ship now button where I can create the shipping label from that goods payment however if you receive a gift payment you don't get the option to create a shipment for the gift because it was a gift and that's exactly what PayPal sees it as as a gift so you would have no need to ship anything to them so this is kind of a roundabout way of creating a shipping label and avoiding a uh, PayPal fee if you can get somebody to pay you as a gift instead of goods so I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions uh, please leave them in the comment box and once again like I said I'm going to post the link to get to the PayPal shipping page in the information box for this video. Thank you.